Hello and welcome to your first video on fibers and fabrics. Today we're going to talk about an introduction to fibers and fabrics. Let's jump into it. So what is a fiber? That's a very good question. A fiber is an elongated substance capable of being spun into a yarn. Now we're starting really basic here because fibers and fabrics play a very, very, very important part in the production of clothing, not only in their um, properties to create specific types of designs, but also in their narratives and their stories and their histories and where they come from physically. A fiber is any raw material directly obtainable from an animal, vegetable, or mineral source. It's convertible into non-woven fabrics such as felt or after spinning into yarns, um, into woven or knitted cloth. Fibers are a fundamental base component of a fabric. Now, fibers and fabrics are different things. So here you can see we have a range of fibers under microscopes, and you can under under a microscope, and you see they're very, very different. We've got coarse wool, fine wool, alpaca, cashmere, silk, and you can see uh, with the all the different types of wool from coarse through to cashmere, you can see the scales on the surface of the wool. And then we have silk, a very thin filament. Uh, linen, cotton, both uh, rough in texture on the surface, and then polyester here on the end, very, very smooth. Now you can see with everything except polyester, the surface of the fiber is not consistent. Now that is because they're from uh, natural origins, whereas polyester uh, is a consistent fiber because it is produced using synthetic materials. But we'll get into more and more of that later on. So there are three main uh, fiber classifications, natural, synthetic, and semi-synthetic. But fiber technology goes beyond the fashion industry. It gives us as designers an opportunity to explore a wide range of applications and material science in our designs. Have you ever thought of things like spun glass, for example, many metallic fibers, carbon fiber, conductive thread? These things allow us uh, to push how we might consider fiber usages within our industry. If we look at this uh, diagram showing the market share of fibres in 2016, we can see that the vast majority of fibres are synthetic and uh, a high proportion of those are polyester. Now, this definitely has significant environmental impact. Uh, synthetic fibres are produced using petrochemicals primarily, and petrochemicals primarily are made using fossil fuels, things like oil. And if we jump back into the rest of that chart, you can see that 21%, nearly a, um, a quarter or just over a fifth of the world's fibres are cotton. Now, cotton is a very thirsty crop. Uh, that means that we have significant water usage issues there. Then jumping on top of that, we have wool and cellulose um, and then other fibres. You can see that or across this whole spectrum here, um, there's some significant environmental impacts from the fibre uh, production industry. So now that we know what a fiber is, what is a fabric? Let's jump into it. Fabrics are flexible material consisting of a network of natural or artificial fibers. So you can see that um, all fabrics are made of fiber, but not all fibers are fabrics. If that makes sense. It's a material made using um, weaving, knitting, spreading, felting, stitching, crocheting, or bonding. There's many different ways to create a fabric. Um, we're gonna go into a few in a second. But it's the end result of a fiber being constructed into a textile. So when as a student you think, what fabric I'm going to use, am I going to use? And you tell your lecturer, I'm going to use cotton. You're not actually talking about a fabric there, you're talking about a fiber. So you can see that fabrics are produced using a loom, for example, and here's a very, very simple loom. Uh, using, uh, uh, or fabrics are knitted. So here's a, an industrial knitting machine, quite a small one or they're filtered um, or bonded. And uh, this is an industrial process to uh, in the purple felt and in the beige bond. So what types of fabrics are there? Fabric uh, can be broken down to three main construction types. Now we often talk about fabric in terms of construction. So what is the, what is the construction of that fabric? Now that really means how is the fabric made? So the three main types are woven, knit, and what we call non-woven. Here we are with our woven. You can see very clearly that it looks like it's been woven. Knit, you can see not just the fact that it's made of a wool-like uh, fiber, um, but you can see the interlocking loops. That means it's knit. And then something like non-woven, you can see that um, all of the fibers are going in lots of different areas and they're kind of squashed together. But why is this important for us as fashion designers? Well, let's look into it. 
Fabric choice has a significant impact on your design aesthetic. So a fabric with more drape will be softer than a fabric with less drape, for example. Wearability, a fabric made out of a polyester fiber will be hotter than a fabric made out of a cotton fiber. Price point, polyester is very, very cheap to produce. Um, silk is very expensive to produce. Garment construction, so how you sew the garment. Uh, a plain weave cotton, for example, is significantly easier to use than um, uh, a sateen woven uh, silk. And usability. So something like merino wool, for example, um, is difficult to launder. So maybe difficult depending on the design. Your fiber and your fabric are very, very important. And it's very important that you educate yourself and that you upskill yourself um, and make an informed choice. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and uh, please like and subscribe, as all the cool cats say. Or you can follow us on Instagram. Um, or you can do none of those things and just enjoy these videos.